Okay, you asked for it. What is up people, welcome back to the Nerd Crate and welcome back to a new review which is going not to be a lot of fun I fear. I don't think so, nope. <laughs> uh, anyway, Ferocious Kang Toys CT Chiu Zero One with thanks to TF Robots. Um, geez, guys, that's a mixed bag, man. Uh, I think before I before I tell you anything else, like really before I tell you anything else, we're just gonna dive into this, and you're gonna see what I mean. And at the score, you're also gonna see what I mean. Okay? Let's dive in and make the best we can. So this guy is a big butt, and as always, when we got a big butt, we're gonna check him out in the back. And here we are, and the box. It's beautiful, metallic all around. All the sides looking very, very nice, including additional cat hair. Um, nice artwork here, lounging pose with uh, ferocious in animal mode in the back with some, I don't know, weird uh, font, but I think it's all right. Kang toys and everything. Up top there, rotate to the left, logo. Wrap around, wrap around, graphic a little bit. That's cool. A little bit dented, a little bit prone to damage. It's all cardboard, but it's safe still. Logo still here. Now the other way around. Schematic kind of styled of ferocious bad bot mode in the back, and we got the animal mode on the back in full color, looking nice. Logo in full. Wrap around continues from the front to the other side here too, so that's good. On top the warning messages and below again. Geo ferocious. Quick check on the insides. Nice idea. All black foam. All black. Pretty premium. Very sturdy. And very safe. And then we got the full package that's in the box. And of course, instructions first. Nicely done. Like really as a as a paperback. Shiny printed. Same graphics all around. Looking good. Um, they really wanted to have this as clear as possible, but um, while doing this, I believe they, they lost course. I really believe so, because um, all of these rotate this 90 degrees, and this 90 degrees, and this 90 degrees, and this 90 degrees. It's just too much. It is just too much for me. I didn't get the hang of these instructions. Apparently, there were people that did get the hang of the instructions. I didn't, but um, it's all highlighted. They, I believe they did their best. They meant very, very, very well, um, but it doesn't work for me. So um, yeah, uh, really, 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 really high profile instructions with some nice graphics, what you can do with the hands later and that you can switch out the places for the hands. We're not gonna do all that, you can do that if you want it, but uh, the crap mode. Later on the second one, so yeah. Collector card as always, but uh, everything on this is high profile, the card is not. It is thick, but it is cardboard. I don't know. Could have been better, could have been worse, like thinner cardboard, but um, tech specs and I believe uh, a bio, all in Japanese, so if you want it. There you go. Weapon number one is a very, very huge sword, actually, um, and it's done cool. We got this um, this interesting sheen to it. I don't know if the camera picks it up, maybe here. Like when you check here and when I rotate it a little bit in the camera, you see that red sheen around the silver stripe here? That's kind of a flip-flop varnishing on this piece, meaning depending on how the light hits it, the color changes from orange to a metallic uh, red-ish. It's interesting. We've got silver tempo on there. It's a little bit, uh, I don't know, 
sided from the radius but it but it but it works still on the other side here and uh, we got teeth and some crumb uh, translucent teeth here and on the grip and there's a hinge I was able to bring it out once you can actually get this out it is, it is packed in very very well I don't know if it's actually meant to do something but um, I think it's only combining and packs into the hand via this pack and we got this port or slider so you can either uh, press it down or you slide it in works both ways and when you wrap the fingers around very safe weapon number two is a very 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 big blaster it's huge we got uh, some nice line work in here we got uh, orange on the barrel here which is done very good only a little bit of black bleed coming through here below maybe you can even see that a little bit yeah i think you could even see it um extendable so uh, very big but we got some chipping here so uh, again tight tolerances we will see that a lot of times and this goes to the back i think this will actually be for combined mode um so nice weapon and attaches to the hand the same way pack port put it in there bring the thumb a bit down like simulate a trigger and then uh, that worked better the other times around i don't know why it doesn't now let's check real quick again yep not too safe so those tolerances loosen up not too cool last one a freaking huge hand we got black plastic with the same orange color on it with some silver paint apps here on the spikes looks super brutal this die cast unpainted looks very very cool and we got the very squeaky port where we got to that later on you can unpack this here and this comes around and this is what actually kind of then forms later the uh, kind of scissors for the let's call it crap mode I didn't fiddle with it too much as I enjoyed this mode far too much. I think the hand mode is, it just looks brutal. And we got, um, we got a swivel at the base of each finger with another swivel at the, at the actual start of the finger. And we got two pins, one on this, uh, on the, you know, this is kind of weird. We got first knuckle, third, uh, second, third. I believe that's it. So uh, they changed up a little bit the uh, articulation of an actual hand but you got the full spread and possibilities of a human hand so that is very very cool i like that and it looks just extremely brutal and you can do actual stuff a human hand can do which is which is seldom for combiner hands so uh, yeah intense piece heavy and even bigger than uh, toy worlds uh, i will show that to you once we're at combine mode and here we got ferocious and look he's not a bad guy per se you know um like what you see here that's what you get you know here we got the same uh kind of flip-flop slash translucent coloring on uh on the orange here too you see that shimmering here a little bit so that's orange metallic uh this thing is painted head to toe and it's beautiful we got translucent red here as a main plastic with tempo on there. We got metallic red over here. Orange painted here, here. That's again the metallic gold with red on top. Looks amazing. Uh, silver paint apps on the arms, on the chest. We'll get to that. Die cast on the side pieces here. That looks nice. I think that looks, that looks again, looks really heavy duty and brutal. I like that. Um, there are a good piece. There, there are a few pieces I really like about this guy, and the legs continue with that metallic darker orange, like the ones here. Temples on the hip skirts here, below here on the red, here on the red, below here. So it's full with temples and colors. So um, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. It's a beautiful butt. Um, there are just so many problems afterwards, and. Uh, light piping on the head uh, i think masterpiece that's no way either you paint the full head and you paint the eyes or you do light up i think that's that's the way to do business with masterpiece but it's finished now so what can you do uh more temples here 
Uh, nice piston style on the elbow here. Here the guy from the back. Pretty good. Pretty good I would say. I like what they did with the tail. A lot of possibilities to have it swivel and move very very dynamic, very realistic. I think that's good. Backpacks are nicely, more silver, more temples. So, uh, oh yeah, die cast fangs on the front here. Movable mouth, so um, he looks very, very cool. He looks very, very cool. Articulation wise, there are some interesting choices. We got the head, adjust it real quick. We got the head on the ball pack that's not fully packed in. I don't know what's that about. I never seen that on anywhere else, but uh, this is this is pretty loose. Um, but the ball makes for a lot of movement. Additional cat hair. Um, you can even have that. If this doesn't is not enough, you can even fake it like this. So we can look down a tad more. That's nice. We got these weird arms. Squeaky squeak. Soft ratchets going all around. That's nice. You can get them up this high. Um, bicep swivel, all very stiff, very stiff. Um, that's a that's a single jointed. Uh, it's a double jointed elbow. Gives you the full run. I have a hard time filming here. I'm sorry. I don't I don't like this place to film it. But on bigger pieces, it's just it's just needed. Um, so it works all around, also for, for cat mode, of course. Um, swivel on the hand with an additional hinge here. So you can work it this way and you can have it back and further back. Pin on the base of the thumb, doesn't rotate though, but you got another hinge here and another hinge here, all pin operated. The fingers are on ball packs and then pins again on the second and third and here are even stress marks so uh, tight tolerances maybe be mindful of that same of course on the other arm the hip skirts on um, ball joints come out to the side these ones come out to the front and this comes out to the back so there's a lot of space weird squeaky soft ratchets on the thighs to the outside and yeah, soft rashes front and back, full spread. Um, and also, like there's a lot to operate, you know. Also to the side, that's fine. Thigh swivel build around the universal. No worries there. Um, the knees get a good range. And we got two joints in here. One is the one that actually collapses and the other is the actual knee. That works here. On this one, like I don't get the hang of the engineering of this here. I don't know where this packs in, but whenever I want to move it here, this gets unpacked. And I didn't honestly mind to analyze it further because I almost broke this guy on the first transformation because I was so damn frustrated. But uh, same here, very stiff. We got on the feet, we got an ankle pivot front and back and we got a toe tilt be mindful of these claws those are those are really spiky um, also this is what the foot is supposed to look like but I don't like that toe actually so I'm keeping it like this but uh, you got a heel spur here that's giving you a lot of stability and a very limited rocker so you can do stuff with it but it's limited but um, you see there's there's a lot of, of movement in here so uh, I think the foot is fine I think the foot is really fine and uh, as you might guess for a little bit of articulation demonstration when you operate all the all the joints you can have him stand very easy. So uh, that was a two second pose, you know, it works. So uh, the articulation overall for this guy works very well. And uh, with the sword and everything, let me grab real quick the gun and the sword. 
you can have him in very extreme poses, also very fast. Have him dual wield the gun. And also the sword like this and then being kind of um, uh, making sure he's, he's ready for for melee combat you know so um, that's super fast super easy so articulation wise this guy can do some damage he really can do some damage and there are a lot of good poses possible with him but before we get to the chunky bits let's straighten him out very quick and you know what i forgot something let's just real quick do the size comes down to a uh, good 25 centimeters so uh he's actually masterpiece optimus prime scale around 10 inches and weight on this guy is 518 grams so half a kilo that's a heavy boy. But now for some fast comparisons. Here we got Masterpiece Megatron from Generation Toy. The Generation Toy Tyrant Stealth Bomber Megatron. So uh, that's gonna be a huge set. And Transform Missions Carnage. So this is all IDW. Very stylized, full IDW. There's that and just for the shits of it and because people watch that stuff. Storm Collector with Baraka. So let's try and get this guy transformed, which is not gonna be a fun part. You can start with the head, no problem. Flip all of this out, flip these pieces out, bring the head back, bring them out further. Flip all of this back, bring the head in this position because this pack needs to go into this side piece. Like this, you can rotate the arms forward. You then open up this piece here. Straighten the hand out as good as you can. Bring it in, close it down. Then rotate the, fo the fo arm forward. Using this, rotate the paw around again. And this is, I don't really know if this is actually important, but you can flip this up and finalize it by rocking it back on this arm. So uh, with this armature together, it should somewhat like that. For the legs, try and make it all as comfortable as you can get. Unpack the tail from the back piece here and rock it up on this double hinge here. Bring those flaps out and you have all this space. Additionally, you can pull out the combiner port little add-on to the articulation if you want. You can have this also as, as an app crunch, but it's super tight, so be mindful of that. So for the legs, you want to open up this from this pack here, bring it out, super squeaky, be mindful of that. Bring out this piece and this, open up the panel on the inside and pull out of this out. This looks super fucked up already because I was really in pain with this thing. So you have all of this. Bring this back also. Then you want to bring all of this out. And what you want to do is you trade places of this guy here and this armature. So this has to go outside and you need to make sure that you can do the best to flip this in and then have this armature back in this cavity here. So it looks like this and this panel needs to be on the upside here. So you have that space and then you need to use, and my hands are hurting this one and rock it back and collapse it this way so this on the upside collapses the whole leg and combine awards it in. so while you do that you also have to keep in check on these pieces have these out of the way rotate this down 
have this armature in here and you know just just do your best kind of just do your best bring those legs down and then for now you have something that starts to look like this so have these fully collapsed and bring the legs together for now using this pack and this port just do it the best you can it's there there was just missing so you can pack these together you bring these down and then you can also bring this down and these hooks hook in under these armatures here so you have all of this closed down this uh, <laughs> currently looks actually even kind of good you can bring this down packs in here kind of yeah kind of um, and bring this one back here same on this side kind of inside here just not good man it's just not good so uh, this is closed off and then you have the legs and these need to stand like this this one comes up rotates around and covers down on this and I don't know what's that for but you need to flip these forward according to the instructions there's also the other one on the inside here you bring these forward and then you can have this to the back and this to the front so it actually looks like uh, like an animal foot and you can then I see this breaking hard guys you can bring this back God damn, this is the worst engineering ever. And um, flip this up to have an actual kind of, uh, yeah, cat or tiger foot like that. I try to keep it fluid, but it's not easy. Also, you have to pack in these guys after you flip those down and these pack over on these. But currently I don't quite know how because um, okay there we go like this make sure you have the hip flap out bring this down and over this and flip this down same on the other side so you have it like this just do it the best you can man as a final step you need to unpack this rock it down on this arm this can spring off this c-clip but it's not bad there's nothing breaking it, it works but it's weird and then you need to unpack these pieces from the side and rock them down fully same on this side here and then see too much tension and then you take this clip it back on like this and then you pack it in here final part is this guy for the head here we put this back in here which gives you the leverage to bring this down and help get this in the angle because otherwise um, it kind of sits like this and it needs to rock down so you put this in here get the leverage and bring this down and rock it into this cavity bring the head up and pack it in and you're done and after the pain i was in yesterday i gotta say it looks cool it looks really cool but the way uh you have to go to, to to get there is like it's like frustrating you know at the end it all packs in like this packs all in i also also excuse that you weren't able to see this pretty well so um i'm just going to show you real quick 
um, this part you had up. I could, I can't rock this up because this is down. You rock this up and these guys packed in with these in here. So you rocked this down on this arm, plugged it in like that. So there we go. Um, styling of course comes through nicely and we got, here we got the usual articulation on the arm. That works all nice. The head is articulated due to that. You can move it somewhere like that, but then it breaks apart the scalp. Uh, we got a little bit of a noggin left and right. And uh, paint tripping is uh, my fault because I handled him badly. This is really pissing me off, but um, the paint otherwise is durable. Left and right, mouth opens and closes. So uh, there's some good articulation you can get out there. And the most part on the articulation that was actually enhanced was on this. So you get this and you get this extra knee here. So that's nice. And the paws move pretty well. So uh, you got all of this and the tail, of course, with, with all these hinges all work pretty nicely. So uh, that's a great looking cat with some great launching abilities. Um, I think you might even, yeah, if you want, you can extend him. And when you rotate this and this, you can have then a reverse app crunch and then have him actually even kind of this this typical you know ass up lunging pose so um there's some stuff possible with this guy and just in quick when you have him in cat mode that's how he looks next to a masterpiece optimus prime slash megatron size figure so let's try our best one combined mode bring the head down you unpack this this rock the head down Bring this together and pack it back into the rest of this. Then you unpack this, rotate it around and it just will lie on top of this like this. Then we gotta undo all of this, meaning you unpack the chest again, have it out, bring these panels back up, same on this side some of the combiner elbow came out but that's not a problem you actually need that so you pack these back into place and then the head will sit on this double joint just in this cavity we then want to rotate the arms 180 and this paw will sit on top here so you bring all of this back and what you want to do and which is hard this is actually the hard part the instructions tell you a certain way to do it 90 degrees here, 90 degrees there. I didn't get it. So you need to do it as best as you can. You know, that's where I get confused to rotate. This is of course wrong. This needs to sit here. So you need to rotate it like this. And the usual way just comes up below this here. So you need to rotate, rotate, rotate a little further and some more and just work this arm kind of and it gets entangled on the plastic and it's just not good you know it's just it's not supposed to be this hard but once you've got it then you bring this back and you plug it in so it looks like this exactly the same the best you can on the other side so you are left with something that looks like this like I said this one came out, this is a little loose, which means you need to pull out some more until it really clanks into place. And that's how the elbow is actually going supposed to look. You can then already bring out the combiner shoulder in a 90 degree, degree angle so it sits somewhat like this. So meaning if you want to have the elbow to work, you need to rotate this forward. Then we need to undo the legs. You get the flaps out here bring this up bring these flaps out and up there's also everything that solidifies it you undo this can happen all the time it's just a ball pack pop it back in it could have happened more times you know so if it happens two or three times i don't know lay it to the side and put it back 
unpack the legs from each other and you keep it like that, you just, just he says, extend all of this also on the other side. So you have it looking like this. Again, bring those out. Um, what you then need to do is again, trade places with this piece and this. So kind of again, space it the best you can and trade places because then you can have this rotated around. Oh, geez, man. And this will in the end sit kind of in here. With this being rotated down and this part packing in here, which we will get to now. You take this, unpack this, and you bring these flaps back again and you bring it this leg in this far this pack you bring out best you got some fingernails or something and you collapse this in here and bring this out so this pack sits in this cavity close off looks like this you can then have this guy rotated and the paw will go down and the foot will sit on this pack with this hole and the paw kind of up. So what you want with this now is that you have a gap here. This sits up and this packs into the thigh like this. Then you bring this down it sits kind of in here and you need this pack to pack into this port and this is currently working kind of well so it looks like this bring this down bring this in and that's the constellation for this part in between you can get this part down because that's pegging into this part also on the finish leg of this. When you got these two configurations you then like I said take this middle part here and pack the legs in. This is for some extra stability. I don't know if it is needed but this is what you want to do and you pack in the legs below like here. I forgot this now so it looks like this and this you can I believe you rotate this around or it just lies. Right, this extra pack goes in here. There's this. On the other side, it kind of worked automatic. So uh, this worked, you bring this then down, this pack sits in here, like so, and like so. For the final part, I recommend you take the spotter because you need to go in here and you unpack this part. This moves forward and covers down here. Same on the other side. And you take this piece, it covers over those and the leg, ah, the, the leg, the third leg, I mean, it's long. <laughs> you rotate and pack in like here and this will lie down in here and this notch will go into these packs once you straightened the hip flap out fully and it just lies there so it's all closed down and that's actually that's actually how it looks I just saw you can take these guys here and a bit more rotation to be done on these. So this kind of looks a little, a little bit more in parallel. Um, yeah, 
way better. So this is like this. Final part is then the hand and you have this hollow bits here and you see the railing system here. So you do your best in sliding this in here and that's your arm. Once you rotate it, the elbow right, that is. So um, yeah, I mean, I believe maybe this way, I believe this is how the arm is supposed to be. So uh, this sits here and the arms to the back, you have the shoulder part here. So uh, that's how it's supposed to be. And everything is, it's solid, you know, there's a lot to do, but it's solid. And I mean, that's, that's one brutal looking arm. That's one brutal looking arm. And just for comparison, this is how it looks next to Debbie, Toy World Constructor. So with the upper arm being a little bit shorter than his and the lower a little bit longer, but you see the hand there, they're about comparable. But um, I see this Prada King being the exact same size as Constructor or even being a bit taller. So for articulation, you have this insane port here that gives you a lot. We will just see how it works actually in unison with, with Razor Claw, but uh, you've got a bicep, you've got a bicep swivel here, one upper bicep, one on the lower, kind of on the elbow. And you've got this super insane elbow that's a little bit limited, but um, it's stiff. You got that here and then the the hand, so um, that's a huge friggin' arm. And I'm looking forward to see Prada King. I, I, I think I will pull through on this set, even though it's a pain, but um, here you got him again next to Megatron, so uh, that's gonna be one powerful combiner. Final thoughts? So there was this guy. Kang Toys CT Chiu Zero One, or Chiu CT01, I don't know, whatever, whatever this is supposed to mean. Um, like I really, I really paint myself through this. I really did because, you know, styling wise, this guy is beautiful. I'm not gonna go down through the full score, you know, you just um, make of this what you will and uh, listen of what I have to tell you. Um, the styling on this thing is friggin beautiful, the presentation overall. Um, instructions are meant very well, but they're confusing. Printed nicely though. The box is amazing. The color on this is cool. We got a lot of die cast there. It's a heavy piece. You have something in the, in the hand that I enjoy. Um, and overall, the tolerances on this guy are tight, um, but not too tight, overall. Um, below here, where it comes to the point that is important, it's too tight. And uh, that's where, where the problems come in, and that's also where... Uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to mute my PC. Um, where a lot of the, you know, where you have to cram stuff in between and stuff. And um, I don't know, man. I don't like the engineering at all. You see that. The articulation on this is cool for a bot of this size and what he's supposed to become. Uh, it's good. The rocker could have had a little bit more. But overall, I think. You see, the thing is. You hear that, right? I'm really, I'm really kind of, I'm kind of split down the middle. Like I love how this looks. This is my first Predacon ever. I never had a G1 Predacon, but this guy's just really giving me a hard time. Um, like I love the butt mode. I love the alternate mode. I love the arm. The way there is not good, which is why I have a problem with the engineering just over engineered there was no need for this to be this super complex this could have been one shell you know this is this is where i think combiner warsing would have made way more sense 
and a simple form of combiner worsening because this essentially does it, but overcomplicated. The thing is, it could have been easily done just opening it up, folding it up, or re rotate it and have a second configuration or a second pack in for it to really work. This is just over engineered and not fun. You saw what I did to the paws, to the, to the back of the arm also. This is just bad that you fuck up the paint that severely because it's not really shown nicely um, how to actually do it. That's bad. Meaning the playability on this suffers severely too. Extremely. Um, I don't think something will actually break on this. You know, because the material is this, is... this is only some tolerances kind of doing the squeaks, but um, there's nothing that really, that really wobbles around or anything. Um, this is a really, 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 really sturdy piece. But for the price, 125 bucks and you need to you need to pain yourself you know struggle through soldier on through that transformation to have it there and then you need to decide okay what do i want it as do i want it as a bat do i want it as an animal do i want it as a uh, as an arm that's just rough you know i mean it's still 7.5 is still is still a good bit but um I gave the engineering a zero and that has a meaning and I stand by that. If you don't like that and think I overdid it, that's, that's your call to make, but um, that's it. And I'm going to have a really hard time to decide if, I, if I'm going to keep him and if I'm going to complete this producting because Zeta is doing things way more simple and just sturdy and Landbull and also Firmament I'm going to check them out but I don't know if I will keep them will have a very hard time to you know kind of change up my decision to maybe let him go or keep him so that's all I can tell you if this was if this was too indecisive for you to get yourself some form of uh, of a decision, if you want to pick them up, I'm sorry, but I I myself am am torn. You know, I'm super torn because the styling of this is beautiful, looks great, but the engineering is just nah, severely nah. Uh, but there's still one thing missing. So I kept this in armor for. This. Lee okay, what do you think of that, dude? Hmm? Good? You kind of accept them? It's too big, huh? It's too big. That's my cat. That's my cat. I don't like it, she doesn't like it. <laughs> At least most of all. Anyway, guys, I hope you could have pulled something out of this review for you to see if you, if you could like him, if you want to pick him up or something. Um, this is all I can tell you. You heard, I'm torn. I'm super torn with this. So um, yeah, this is all I can tell you for Chiyu, for Ferocious, you know? So uh, let's see how Landbull and uh, also Firmament are gonna, gonna fare up. But uh, otherwise, I hope you had a great week. Tomorrow is Friday. Enjoy the weekend, you know? So uh, be good, be well. Stay healthy. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye-bye.